Okay, we're going to be servicing this DTEX. They don't have a key to it. And the alarm's been going off all day long. So, if you do not have DTEX keys, they do have a code stamped on them where you can make them by code. I personally just pick them because they're quicker that way. So we'll get the cover off and make a key for it for them. In case you're wondering, you do have to pick these every quarter turn. Obviously, righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then it'll come right off in your hand. Okay, now that we have the cylinder picked, we're just going to pull the handle. And pull up. And that will pull this little channel right here out of this channel and then you just swing it wide to make a key for it we're going to loosen this screw here and this screw here and then take it out to the van now these little cam locks that hold them on they're only held in place by a little c-clip so you just simply remove that and then you can make a key for it this one you can't really read the code on so now that I have cylinder in hand, I'll just make a key for it, make it a lot easier to put it back together. Now with the two screws removed, this comes just directly off, and we're going to loosen this screw, and very delicately loosen that screw, we'll take our cylinder out and make a key for it. To save yourself a lot of time, what I normally do is just drill a tiny little hole there so you can actually get to the flathead screw on both sides. Now once you get that screw loosened to a certain point, It'll let you turn that cam. And when you put it back together, obviously this little round piece needs to line up with this little arrow. But it'll be a lot easier to put these screws in, obviously, when you have a key made for it. We're going to use our Schlag tool to remove the tailpiece. And see how that kind of fits in perfectly. With any rim cylinder, it's a good idea to remember your location of your tailpiece, in which case it's vertical with the pen stack, the Bible. I'm going to take that apart. And obviously we're gonna take our little keeper pin and put that right there. And we will keep our spring in the same place. And now we're gonna shim the cylinder. And I used to use, I like to use a key blank. Just go all the way in with a key blank, put a little pressure on the end of the shim, wheel it kind of back and forth. And of course the shim goes right between the two shear lines. If you get a little snap, that means you're probably using too much pressure. This is not the best shim in the whole world. It's been used a lot. Not by me, but in any case. Now we've got the cylinder to turn. We'll just key it up now. Now we have followed that through with our follower. And now we are going to pin it up to a setup key and make a couple copies for the customer. And now we have it keyed up. I keyed it to five pin, but we will now reassemble the cylinder, put the tailpiece back on and put the lock back together. All right, now we are going to reassemble this lock. And this is a little hard one-handed, but that's okay. I'm going to get that. There we go. So the tailpiece is now seated inside of this cam. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use our key and turn it sideways. As you can see, now we have our key sideways. We're going to install our two flathead screws and then remove the key. And now we're going to just simply remove the key, make sure that that lines up with the correct timing marks. And we can get our key out. One-handed. And now the lock is ready to go back in to the bar, into the DTEX. Now we're gonna line up our top channel and our bottom channel. down so it goes into that channel and now we just have to tighten our cylinder down here 
and it'll screw on and hold the bar in place. That's how you service it. Last but not least, we're gonna check and make sure that this thing functions. So it is locking. Now let's make sure it works this way. That's it.